couldn't we at least let black Jesus hang alongside? Forget it. The only Jesus I know is him, and the one thing he don't need is a partner. <laughs> Mama, how do we know Jesus wasn't black? He could have been from the lost tribe of Israel. They were supposed to be black. I bet they were. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> of you. This picture has been in my family for as long as I can remember. When I was a baby, I don't know what I saw first. My mama, my papa, or this Jesus. Now he's the one I know and love, so let's close the subject. Jesus was black, the Bible would have said so. But it does say so. What are you talking about? Uh, I read about it, um, it's in Revelations chapter 1, verse 14. I read about it in Muhammad Speaks. It says, um, Oh, his hair is like wool, and his eyes are like flame of fire. Well, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> you sure do say that, don't it? Mama, how do we know Jesus wasn't black? He could have been from the lost tribe of Israel. They were supposed to be black. I bet they were. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> The only reasons black people can't get ahead. I know we all looked at the condition of our people, the so-called black people, at least once and thought with astonishment like, why are we or these people treated this way across the whole earth? They are the lowest of the low and just can't seem to rise or progress as a nation. Well, if you have thought this, that was your spirit telling you that this condition of the so-called black people across the world is divine. All of the answers you need is right in the very book either you believe is a white man's book or you don't read it or simply don't understand it because you look at it from your pastor's point of view who is a lying teacher. Once you understand where you fit in in the Bible, it will make a lot more sense to you. Your condition is prophesied in the Bible. Get your Bibles ready. You ever wonder why your ancestors was enslaved and shipped across the world? Here's your answer. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 and verse 68 And Yah shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone verse 68 And Yah shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Daniel chapter 9 verse 7 O Yah, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to the men of Judah, unto the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. You are not Egyptian. The Egyptians enslaved your ancestors, and now you are in the new Egypt in captivity once again. You ever wonder why everyone rises above you, but you can't seem to rise? Here's your answer. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yah shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Verse 43 through 44. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed all way. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 20 through 21. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not Elohim. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. 
You ever wonder why you are called many bywords and racial terms? Here's your answer. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yah shall lead thee. You ever wonder why our grandmothers were raped on a plantation? Here's your answer. How about you build plantation homes and whole cities but can't reap the benefits or enjoy them? Here's why. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Ever wonder why we are the only people on earth who struggle with finding our true identity? Here's why. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 1 through 3. The vision of Isaiah the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yah have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do not know, my people do not consider. Judges chapter 8, verse 33 through 34. And it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again, and went a whoring after Baalim, and made Baal Barith their god. And the children of Israel remembered not Yah, their Elohim, who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 26 through 27. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Ever wonder why all of us, even our children, get shot dead in the streets and nothing is done? Here is why. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy Elohim, I will also forget thy children. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 49 through 50. Yah shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. I can go on and on about our current condition, but let's find out why we are going through these things today. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of Yah thy Elohim, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let's go to verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of Yah thy Elohim to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11 through 12. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Elohim, because we have sinned against him, and he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. But many are not listening to the words of Yah, because Israel is a rebellious nation of people. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 7 through 8. For I earnestly protest unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart, 
Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. Daniel chapter 9 verse 13 As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil has come upon us, yet may we not our prayer before Yah our Elohim, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Psalms chapter 95 verse 8 through 11 Harden not your heart as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Acts chapter 7 verse 51 Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised and heart and ears, you do always resist the Holy Ghost. As your fathers did, so do ye. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 7 But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Black people or Negroes, who are the Israelites, still refuse to let go of their idols and false pagan days and serve only Yah. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 through 6. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, Yah, thy Elohim, am a jealous Elohim, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Amos chapter 5 verse 26 through 27 But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, and China on your images, to starve your God, which ye made to yourselves. Therefore, Will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, say Yah, whose name is the Elohim of hosts. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 21 And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy Elohim, I am Yah. They are still sacrificing their loved ones to Molech or Baal for fortune and fame today in the entertainment industry, which is known as Hollywood. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 35 And they built the high places of Baal which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom to cause their sons and daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech which I commanded them not neither came it into my mind that they should not do this abomination to cause Judah to sin 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 5 and 7 for Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. Verse 7. Then did Solomon build in high place for Shemash, the abomination of Moab, and the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. Ashtoreth is the goddess that our people celebrate ignorantly on the day of Easter, today. Yes. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1 through 5. Hear ye the word which Yah speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus say Yah, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of a workman, with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. Christmas is also a pagan day that has nothing to do with the Messiah. These days you worship are nothing new. Our ancestors worshiped these same days and landed us in this condition we are in today. If you continue, you will receive judgment. We break his Sabbath day, which he gave us, which is the seventh day, Saturday, not Sunday. Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 through 3. And on the seventh day, 
Elohim ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And Elohim blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which Elohim created and made. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 through 11 Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yah thy Elohim. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days Yah made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore Yah blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 12 through 13. Moreover also I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them that they might know that I am Yah that sanctified them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walked not in my statutes, and they despised my judgments, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them. Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 8. Thou hast despised mine holy things, and hast profaned my Sabbaths. Isaiah chapter 56 verse 2. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. We won't ever rise above our current condition on our own because our current condition is supernatural. It comes from disobeying our high power, the Most High Father, Yahuwah. Our ancestors tried everything that they could to come from under our current condition, but they failed at all things. Revolting against our enemies, integration, fleeing the country we are currently in as a whole, attempting to build elsewhere, economic empowerment, following false religions and deities, and many more. None of these attempts were successful because the so-called black people refuse to follow Yahuwah and his son Yeshua and keep his commandments. Only they can deliver us. In these last days, Yah will deliver those who love him and choose to follow him and his son Yeshua, which will be a small portion across the globe. They will rule the world under Yeshua from our homeland, Israel. Zechariah chapter 10, verse six. And I will strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them, for I will have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am Yah their Elohim, and will hear them. Verse 9-10 through 10, And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children and turn again. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt, and gather them out of Assyria, and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon, and place shall not be found for them. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 9 through 10. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem, and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourner for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20 through 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Elohim, the Holy One of Israel, Yeshua, and truth. The remnant shall return even a remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty Elohim. In verse 20, the Holy One of Israel, that is Yahshua, our King and High Priest, who will return and will be in the land with him. I suggest that you research the Holy One of Israel in the book of Isaiah and go through the precepts. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1 through 3, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. 
And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 24 to 28. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all of your filthiness and from all of your idols. Will I cleanse you? A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statues. And you shall keep my judgments, and do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And you shall be my people, and I will be your Elohim. So-called black people, the land that you will dwell in when Yeshua return is not Egypt. That land is Israel. This is your calling, my people, my brothers and sisters. This is your calling. Every day you wake up, you have a choice. Follow Yahuwah and his son Yeshua who died for your sins and keep his commandments and receive eternal life. Or follow this wicked world set up by Satan and his children, rebelling against Yah, receiving eternal judgment. The choice is yours. Turn to Yahuwah, Israel. Shalom. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father in his throne.